<clears throat> the subject of this lesson will be water distribution pipes okay. and how to draw them and so to begin with we select water from the draw toolbar and then we select the appropriate pipe size and I'm going to start with one inch in this case and of course the this will be the main water supply coming into the building okay. when I when I draw the first pipe quick plumb wants to know how deep in the ground or how how far from the current floor level uh, this uh, this pipe should be so we're going to start it at we'll use the default of 42 inches okay what that means is this pipe is going to be 42 inches below the current floor level. If I go to the front view, we can see here's my pipe and here's the floor level. And I'll just draw a little reference line there. Connect that. Let's see. And we'll take a look and see. See, that's 42 inches or 3 foot 6 inches. Mm -hmm. Now, once you get into the under the building, you may want to bring your water line up closer to the floor. So we just do it in that manner, and then we'll extend it out horizontally. And from there, we can add to that pipe in the plan view. I'll go ahead and place some fixtures on our plan and we'll connect the water supply to the fixtures. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and put a bathtub in this plan. Mm -hmm. And we'll extend that wall out. Okay. Now once we've placed the fixtures we can begin connecting the uh, cold water to the fixtures. All right, now I'm going to change the pipe size for the individual fixtures. I'll connect my toilet first and the typical residential tank type toilet would use a half inch supply and it would always be cold. Now to connect this toilet all I have to do is click anywhere on the fixture and drag my mouse over. Oh. And what that does is it connects the horizontal pipe as well as it brings in a vertical pipe up to the appropriate height and then extends a little stub out. Okay. Okay, so you just change that you from plan to front just a minute right. ago. Okay. Right. Now I'm going to connect a half inch cold water supply to my lavatory. In the same manner, I just click anywhere or press the mouse button down mm -hmm. anywhere on the lavatory and then drag a line over to the branch and release the mouse button. And again, that action will create the horizontal pipe as well as the vertical supply riser coming up to the lavatory and then it gives me it gives me a little stub out. Okay. And you need to catch that call? Uh, if you don't mind, just a second please. Sorry about that. I forgot to turn it off. Okay, I'm gonna continue with the meeting. Okay. All right. Now, in order to, I'll go ahead and connect the tub in the same manner. Okay. We can either connect that here or we can add it on to that half inch branch here. Now, in order to connect hot water, I need a water heater. No surprise there. All right. So I'll just place a water heater right here on this wall. And a, a water heater has to have a cold water supply, typical residential water heater would have a three-quarter inch supply. Click anywhere on the heater 
with coal selected and drag that pipe over to the branch and that connects uh, several pipes. It connects the vertical pipe to the heater and it also gives me a hot water stub out that oh. I can edit. I can move it around and carry it wherever I need to and I can I can run it down here close to the fixtures. Now I'm going to connect a half inch hot to the tub first. With hot selected over here, I can click anywhere on the tub and drag a pipe over to a hot water branch. And that oh. connects my tub. <clears throat> and with hot selected again, I'm going to click on the lavatory and drag a, this pipe over to the hot water branch and that connects my lavatory and we'll just delete that extra pipe there. Now let's take a 3D view of what we have so far mm -hmm. by clicking on 3D model There we go. And we'll zoom into that. And this is the water distribution system that we have thus far. Wow. We have That's our main amazing. coming in here, feeding the water heater, coming out of the water heater, feeding all the hot water hot water to the fixtures. Okay. And that's it for water distribution. Uh, other fixtures are connected in the same manner. We can we can set a uh, water uh, kitchen sink over here. Now we want to connect hot or cold. We'll connect cold first. Okay. Select half inch and drag a pipe over to the cold water branch. Mm -hmm. And then we'll connect hot in the same manner. Drag a hot water pipe over to the hot water branch. And there you have it. Wow. And all the pipe and fittings will show up in the bill of materials and estimates just like the DWV. Everything will show up there. All right. And uh, that's, that's another lesson. So if there are no questions, we'll conclude this meeting and uh, look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you so much. That's very informative. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.